I'm Lisa Keating, also known as Encino Mom, and I'm so excited because I'm here today with Laura Taylor of Laura Taylor at Home. Hi, Hi. Laura. Welcome. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. <laughs> I'm so glad you came. So tell me a little bit about your classes. Typically, where do you hold them? How many people do you include? My classes are held in my garden because I feel like people can learn best if they're amongst what they're trying to learn about. I have That's anywhere great. from 10 to 50 to 100 people. I also want to share with um, my fans and your, your fans, uh, Laura's new tomato calendar. And I love this because it goes from March to February of next year. So why does it go from March to February instead of January to December? Because it follows the tomato growing season. It's all about tomatoes. Each month tells you tips and ideas on how to be more successful in your tomato garden. Oh my gosh, look at this. These are all pictures from my garden. Did you take these pictures? I took them all myself. These They're are beautiful. my plants and my tomatoes. Beautiful. I notice you have my favorite growing here in your garden. It's pineapple. Pineapple. Pineapple is the most delicious, luscious tomato I've ever do had. Do we have a picture in we here? We do. I don't know if you can see this, but these are the pineapple tomatoes. And are they very juicy? And I love tomatoes. Well, I'm glad you do because <laughs> otherwise you're talking to the wrong gal. <laughs> these are, it's a very, it's a juicy tomato. It's sweet. It's almost like biting into a piece of tropical fruit. It's, it's just the most perfect. You take one bite of this and you, it just, you want to melt. And are they um, little or? No, it's big. It's a beefsteak. It's going to be about this big. So it's a variety of beefsteak. It's a, it's one of, the, it's known as a beefsteak variety. It's a large variety, so it takes a long time to mature. So that plant's not going to give you anything ripe until August. So you have to be patient for that one. Just in time for my little one's birthday. That will be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> and the kids will love them. They're, yeah, they they're will. Delicious. Because we usually have like a Hawaii theme for her birthday party. So perfect. pineapple tomatoes. Uh -huh. How about top three tips for first time tomato growers? Okay, well, first of all, you have to have great soil. If the soil isn't healthy, it can't feed your plant, your plant can't be healthy, and it's not going to give you good tomatoes. Okay, so number one, it's got to be good soil. And if you think about it, the, what goes into a tomato? The soil, the water, and the sunlight. And the sunlight. Right? So those, those things are going to translate into flavor. That's right. Absolutely they will. So you need also to feed well. So what's your favorite food? I use Dr. Earth fertilizer for vegetables and tomato gardens. It's a really wonderful organic fertilizer. It um, becomes immediately available to your plants. Why would you use Why organic? would I use organic? Because I want to put something that is honest and true to the earth in my plants. I, because that's what we're eating. That's what my kids are eating. I don't want to put chemicals in. I don't want anything that's created in a lab. That's not why I'm growing tomatoes. So I want something that's also going to feed the plants and make them as strong as possible. The organic fertilizers are filled with nutrients and vitamins and all kinds of stuff that makes plants healthy and grow. I love raised beds. They allow you to control exactly what's in your soil. You're not dealing with the clay or sand or whatever the the local makeup of the soil is, you're starting fresh and you know you've got something good and clean and healthy for your plants. Okay, so soil. Soil. Food. Fertile, mm -hmm. And don't overwater. Don't mo yes. Don't, don't overwater, even though it's a really watery fruit. Why? Because you will drown the plants. Tomatoes are like weeds. They go in the ground. They really can be ignored for the most part. When you do water them, you want to water deeply. But you don't want to water often. Deeply, not often. I hope my husband is listening. <laughs> I hope he is too. Because you need to tell him. The roots of a tomato plant can be this long. They really, wow. really get deep. So when you water, if you just give them a little drink often, the water stays on top of the plant. We need that water to get all the way down to the bottom of those roots. And those are going to be the best tasting tomatoes. Absolutely. I I'm so grateful that you came. This I, is wonderful. You know, I love talking about tomatoes. There's never <laughs> enough. 
I want you to be able to get in touch with Laura, so go to www.laurataylorathome.com. That's it for me. I'm Encino Mom, Lisa Keating, and this is Laura Taylor from Laura Taylor at Home. Bye. Bye.